welcome back to Jeff Hagee Daily Success Strategies. Thanks for being with me today. A while ago in one of my episodes, I was interviewing world champion Tyson Durfee. We got talking about mentors, and I talked about one of my mentors when I was in rodeo, and that was Blaine Peterson. And I decided after that interview, I wanted to interview Blaine as well. And so it was an awesome time to catch up with Blaine and have him teach me again, teach me about some of the things that he learned along his path to becoming a world champion. So Blaine Peterson is a four-time Canadian champion steer wrestler. He's a world champion steer wrestler. He's won the 50,000 at Calgary Stampede a couple times, and he's got a lot more credentials behind his name. But what I want to do today is have Blaine talk about goal setting. You know, it's quite the process to decide you want to try to be good enough to be a world champion. And he talks about that and how he set his goals to begin with and wish that he had set them higher than he did. So take a moment here and listen to this and I'll be back with you in a minute. You know, one of the things that I heard that you had said was that you had never had any doubt that you would win a world championship. It's just a matter of when. You know, how does someone develop that mindset and confidence in themselves? Well, you know, Jeff, it, when I was rodeoing, the big thing with the way I looked at things is I always set a goal at the beginning of the year. And, and the year that I decided to try to go to Vegas, I set a goal too low. I mean, I, I won the 50000 at Calgary in 1988 and decided to give it a shot to, to make the NFR. And I should have set my goals higher than that. But, I mean, that was my goal to try and make the NFR, and I did it that year. And, I mean, had a decent finals, not great, but my goal was to make the finals, and I didn't set it any higher. And uh, I should have. But, you know, as you get older in season, you learn these things. And, and uh, I had to go right, f- learn the hard way and set my goals. I didn't want to set them too high, but, I mean, I've learned – over the years that always set your goals high, you know, you don't, don't go out and, and tell everybody that you're going to do this, but in your mind, set it high. And, uh, you know, that's the best way to do it. When Lee Graves come around here and stayed here, you know, I, when he made his first NFR, I told him, I said, Lee, now set your goals high. You know, I said, do you, I told him my situation that I, I was just trying to make the NFR the first year. I said, you got the talent to win it, you know, and he didn't win it, but I mean, he had a good finals and, and I said, don't ever think that, that you're, you're uh, not supposed to be here because you beat all these guys all summer. So, I mean, you, you're just as good as them. You got to tell yourself that. And, uh, he did that, and and it was easy for him. And I think that's why he turned around, and won two world titles. I mean, he he had it, you know, in the back of his mind. He always had his goals high. All right, thanks, Blaine. I appreciate that. That was great, and I hope all our listeners can learn a lot from that on setting your goals high and then going out and achieving them. But also, the downside of not setting them high enough. So thanks for that. If this sounds like something that you need to work on, one of the best things you can do right now, go to jeffhagey.com, get my free momentum series. It's a three video series that's gonna help you to not only get your goals set, but get clarity on how you need to set them, how you need to go about achieving them, understanding your why behind those goals, and then giving you the clear path on what you need to do next. So go to jeffhagey.com, get my free momentum series, And hopefully this is an episode that's been helpful for you and you've enjoyed it. Please share it with at least one other person. I'd really appreciate that. But otherwise, I will be back with you and see you again tomorrow. Thanks.